श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वी आर लर्निंग how the external activities influence our inner poise and this is a training to be given to ourselves actions are happening outside but the impact of those actions is happening inside see like we are giving food to god now who is that god he is a parthiv vigraha made out of stone wood whatever so we know it very well but we don't treat the gods in our temple in our house as piece of metal so what is happening seeing something but knowing something exactly the same way our activities outside they must reflect their impact inside and for that purpose we have taken this support because we are all <clears throat> engage one way or the other sometime we are the other doing the puja see many of us engage the pandit ji the pandit ji has to do puja in 10 houses so he has got a shorter version of puja if the owner of the house is there then it is a longer version if the owner is not there it is bhagwan aaj today is okay tomorrow we'll see. see but when we are doing puja then we are involving ourselves in every small little thing and in that list now we have come to uh <clears throat> giving naivedya see nivedin nivedanam naivedya naivedya means what we offer ourselves fully so naivedyam atmalingasya brahmandakyam mahodanam pivanandarasam swadu mrutyurasya upasechanam this mantra comes in kathopanishad yasya brahma cha kshatram cha उभे भवती ओदन मृत्यु अस्य उपसेचनम थ्री थिंग्स ब्रह्म च क्षत्र च ब्रह्म इज तत्वगुणा और नॉलेज क्षत्र इज एक्टिविटी और रजोगुणा ओदनम इज ईटिंग ही हु इज ईटिंग और ही हु कैन कंज्यूम बोथ द knowledge as well as activity yasya brahma cha kshatram cha what about the tamoguna see tamoguna is mrutyu the death so death asya upasechanam upasechanam is what like we have idli 
then along with that idli, we have some chutney. So, Upasechanami chutney. So, for whom? For whom? The de Lord Death. For whom? The death is like a chutney. He eats the death. Now, that particular mantra is brought out over here. Naivedyam Atmalingasya. Now, we, what we can offer to the self? Now, to understand this, take a simple example. <clears throat> what can we offer to the vision? We can offer to the vision colors and forms. Now, what is the position of the colors and forms with reference to the vision? Do they have independent existence? For a blind person, colors and forms do not exist. But we have this notion that I am seeing the colors and form because they exist. No. All the colors and forms are unmanifest as vision. See? So, if we have to offer Naivedya to the vision, what will be the Naivedya to the vision? Will be <coughs> same way <coughs> Brahma Chakshatram Cha. The knowledge and activity about the worldly objects have no impact on our vision. And mrityu asya upasechanam and mrityu means death. If the colors and forms are not there, how does it matter to the vision? Now take the whole thought together. Presence or absence of colors and forms is not a burden or a gain to the vision and if all of them disappear it is not a loss to the vision. If this is understood, now apply this. Naivedyam Atmalingasya Brahmandakyam Mahodhanam See, the whole world is existing only as long as I is existing. Now the question comes, how do we look at this I? We start recognizing this I when we stop inquiring about the not I. See, I was in London a few years before and uh, those days one word was very, very popular and the word was God particle, you might have heard, maybe about 8-10 years before. So after my satsang was over, uh, one gentleman, he asked me, Swamiji, what is your uh, um, um, comment on God particle? I said, I don't talk on stupid topics. Do you think what the scientists are talking? They are maha stupid. How can you say like that? I said, inquire, think, understand. What is God? God is infinite. What is the fraction of the infinite? Can you make, make a fraction of infinite? Therefore, like north, east, west, south, they are imaginations. Exactly the same way, God particle is also imaginary. It has no valid, no value, no valid existence. See, friends, we have to again and again recognize any question, any thought that erupts is necessarily about not I. Who is he? I don't know. Do we say the same thing? Who am I? I don't know. See? Because to know ourselves, we don't require operation of any known means of knowledge. The known means of knowledge are our sense organs, our mind and our intellect. Through the sense organs, we cognize five objects. See? The sound, the touch, the form, the taste and the smell. 
these are the only five objects in the whole universe. There is no uh, sixth object. See, according to your science, what is water? H2O. But according to Vedanta, it is not H2O. According to Vedanta, that principle, because of which taste is possible. See how basic differences are there. When somebody is having high temperature, the tongue is dried up and you give him anything to eat, what is this? There is no taste. Because the water principle is not there. Therefore, the known means of knowledge to us is the five sense organs. Then the other mean of knowledge is mind. Mind experiences joy and sorrows. And the intellect experiences concepts. Now find out. Like in one of the universities in Pittsburgh probably, after my talk was over, the professor said, Mr. Swami, you presented the concepts very well. I said, I disagree with your statement. I did not say a concept. What do you mean? I said, you are an American is a concept. Tomorrow you will come to India, become Indian. Where American has gone. You are a professor is a concept. After retirement, ex-professor. Ex means unknown. See? Like minister, ex-minister, unknown. See, friends, you are not a concept. You are. Therefore, the best explanation that can be offered is Mauna Vyakya. Mauna means what? Absence of sounds. Absence of words. That which is supporting even the absence is beyond present and absent. That which is supporting red color and yellow color. That vision is neither red nor yellow. That mind which is supporting good thoughts and bad thoughts. Mind is neither good nor bad. That which is supporting um, the concepts, understanding, misunderstanding. The intellect is beyond both. And ultimately, that which is supporting Waking and dream on one side and deep sleep and samadhi on the other side. Waking and dream are something is present. Deep sleep and samadhi are nothing is present. In short, that experience which does not fall in the purview of is and is not is the truth. All our experiences, they fall in the purview of is and is not. Now there is day, there is not night. This is Coimbatore, this is not Mumbai. But can we apply their root to ourselves? I am sometimes, sometimes I am not. No. That experience which does not involve any known means of knowledge is the truth. And to cognize this, make absence as an object of experience. And then slowly, one day by God's grace, it will click. And for that, our mantra is, Dekho, suno, mat bolo. See, hear, no comments. When there are no comments, we are not influenced by what is seen or what is heard. And what are comments? Comments are expression of mind. See, friends. Therefore, what will be the naivedya for the self? Naivedyam atmalingasya brahmandakyam mahodadam mahodanam. The whole universe is offered to Paramatma. Meaning, 
everything is supported by the same truth that we are. See, friends, one of the biggest problems for every seeker is they want to do something and achieve the knowledge or the truth. No. Remember these two words. Spiritual life is a process of undoing and a process of unbecoming. We have become so much. I am Tamilian, I am not a Gujarati, I am rich, I am not poor, I am educated, I am overeducated, I am lucky, I am unlucky. This is all. We have become somebody. The truth is, we are supporting all these and yet not becoming anything. Therefore, how we become? We become by doing something. So what will be the real understanding offering the puja to your own self? Doing and becoming is dropped. What will happen? World, its presence and absence will not have any impact on us. And what doesn't have impact on whom? The snake does not have impact on the rope. The waves do not have impact on the ocean. The ocean doesn't have impact on the water. The colors and forms have no impact on the vision. The sense organs have no impact on the mind. The likes and dislikes have no impact on I. I, the life principle has no impact whether I is present or not present. This untouched reality is our essential nature. Naivedyam Atmalingasya Brahmandakyam Mahodanam. We take only this much. See? Somewhere I went and there they were having these small idlis. And there was one uh, Punjabi friend with me. He said, Swamiji, what is this thing? I said, these are baby idlis. One extreme. Other extreme, you go to Kerala or here also must be, they have got a very fat and very big idli. I call it idla. All of them are supported by the same rice. Therefore, Naivedyam Atmalingasya Brahmandakam Mahodanam. Therefore, what should be the spiritual life? We are squarely responsible for everything. Nobody is responsible for anything in our life. Net result will be, we will be remaining aware of our own being. Living in awareness is spiritual practice. So, naivedya matmalingasyam brahmandakyam mahodaram piba anandarasam swaduhu And when you are thus, anandarasam, Rasa means there is no seed. I don't know whether you do it here or not. In Maharashtra, Gujarat, they do amras. Amras means the mango, nice mango. They will be massaging that thing. It is looking so terrible, but you have to see that. And after that, they take out the skin. And with the um, seed, which is having a lot of pulp, they will be mercilessly squeezing it out. That becomes a armrest. Seed is removed. And when you do with your dirty hands, it all sticks to your hand. Then they will not wash it. They will the same part. They will be cleaning it. And still there is something remaining. They will... There is no seed in the amras. Here, Piba Anandarasam. There is no reason why we are happy. See? How simple it is. 
Viva Ananda Rasam. Be relaxed. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. See, friends, the highest spiritual practice, if you ask me, is our spiritual, this uh, happy mantra mala. Wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100%. The other day I was telling, I don't know your name, I was telling him, I said, if I had to find out what is said in Bhagavad Gita, second chapter, Sita Pragya Purush, I will point a finger at him. Wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, hundred percent. Our mind is running here and there. What more do you want in life? And a person who has learned this to remain hundred percent present all the time, your burden of the past and worries of the future will be deleted from your life. And your life will be Viva Ananda Rasam Swadu. See? Life becomes so simple. But problem with us is wherever we are, there we are not. And this was the main message of Bhagavad Gita. Arjuna has to only know this thing. That he is on the battlefield. He cannot be a disciple or a grandson. He is a warrior. And the job of the warrior is to kill the enemy. That's it. Where is the problem? And the whole Bhagavad Gita which was told, nowhere it was told. After that, Arjun, did you get the knowledge? He didn't say that. Has your wrong notion gone? And Arjun also says, wrong notion gone. What was the wrong notion? I am a grandson, I am a disciple. No. At this moment, in the satsanga, we are only satsangi. Nothing else. That is the highest spiritual practice. Remain 100% in the present. You know, what I see from here, you don't see from there. Suppose I give the example of husband and wife. See, how the wives are so sincere and so nice and work so hard for the husband. But the husbands don't care for them. Suppose I say like this thing, immediately, the wife will start looking at their husband. Are Dumbo, that wife and husband is a common noun. I am not referring to any one of you. But instead of remaining as a satsangi, we become husband and wife. See, my friends. Therefore, piva ananda rasam swadu. And when this is not understood, then after my talk is over, some people come and tell. Swamiji, you are always against ladies. You always make fun of ladies. See? I said, how much importance and value you want, you tell me. You know, you must have seen some Hindi movies. There is one movie, the name of that movie is Teen Deviya, Three Goddesses. And there is a movie with reference to the Jains. Three idiots. Now, how much importance you want? Relax, man. In satsanga, I am not addressing a man or a woman. I am not addressing you. I am addressing myself. See, friends. Viva Anandarasam Swadu Mrutyu Asya Upasechanam. And therefore, what is the Mrutyu, the death? Yesterday also I told you, no passing thought of death of our own being should ever go through our mind. We never have died. Why you worry about it? See? Attend the morning class. We get it in detail there. Our wrong notion is this only. I am body. And other bodies die. Therefore, I will also die. Nobody has experience of death. See, if you want to practice this, I will give you a technique. Try. When you take, let us take a bottle. Empty bottle. Glass bottle. And <clears throat> that glass bottle breaks. 
So will the space in the glass bottle go out of the bottle when the glass breaks? No. Why? Because the space is not only inside the bottle, but the bottle is in the space. Now practice this. And this can be practiced only by wisdom, by understanding, not mechanically. Ram, 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 nothing will happen. See, now recognize how it is possible. This hall has got a space. We are not using the walls. We are not using the ceiling. We are using the space. Now the space is inside as well as outside. So whatever are the qualities of the space outside, the same is the quality inside. There is no different space. Therefore, space is inside, outside. Now where from this inside, outside has come? Because we have given importance to the hall. Therefore, inside, outside came. Suppose there is a small house and we dismantle it and construct a big building. So that small house space, will it feel lonely? See, they are removed the thing, now where will I go? No. So what is the understanding? The hall is in the space. The space is not limited by the hall. Apply the same principle. Air, external air, internal air. External, internal is because our attention is on the body. So when internal, external is not valid, then what is the understanding? The body is in the air. See? Now go further. Whatever object is included in our mind, the knowledge of that object, object happens inside us. See? Like you are seeing me. Where I am outside, where the knowledge is happening inside you. So the inside outside is with reference to body. But for the mind, mind is both inside as well as outside. And therefore the body is in the mind, mind is not limited by the body. See friends. And therefore, be attentive. In the deep sleep, we drop the body identification. The individual mind dissolves in the total mind. Like when the part breaks, the individual part space merges with the total part space, total space. So what will be the ultimate understanding? The body is in me, I am not in the body. Now with this understanding, we lie on the bed, like a bottle. And imagine, the bottle breaks, meaning what? The body dies. What happens to us? Nothing. Then, Play, death, death. See, friends, mrutyu asse upasechanam. We will kill the death. Death will be tested like chutney. This is the purpose of doing the nirguna manasa puja. Naivedyam Atmalingasya Brahmandakyam Mahodaram Pibanandarasam Swadu Mrutyu Asya Upasechanam So what will be the Anandarasa? What is the ultimate bliss? Ultimate bliss is you are free from the fear of death. You are free from the fear of old age. We never suffer because of death. For example, I die here right now. 
example, don't worry. I die right now here. I have no problem. You will have problem. Oh God, he has to die here only. That is the only karma which we do and others suffer. We relax. See, friends. So, mrityu ase upase chanam means what? The thought of death will never, never be occurring in our mind. And we suffer never because of death. We suffer because of the fear of death. If you are offering naivedya to the Atmalinga that you are, come to discover that never were you born, never did you grow, never did you die, and the ultimate, never can we experience our absence. This is the Atmalinga Puja. External things are not required. See? And for that, supports are given in our scriptures. One small example I will give you from Yoga Vashishta. This is called Bhavana. Bhavana means like we have the present Bhavana. That I am very, very unlucky. Or I am very smart. I am very successful. I am very intelligent. This is only bhavana. What we think about ourselves is bhavana. Now apply the same technique. Do the bhavana. What it is like being space. Don't stop thinking. Think. What it is like being space? Initially you will become dumb. I don't know what to do. But work on it. What it is like space? Then one day it will click. Oh, space alone is supporting everything. But about the space we are totally indifferent. See, once in Delhi, the Defense Space Research Center, they took me to show that. So I saw that. And everything they showed me. If you phone from here, it goes to the satellite. From there it comes. Everything was said. Then as a standard military practice, he asked me the question. Uh, Swami Ji, you have got any doubt? I said, yes, I got one doubt. What doubt? What is the name of your organization? He thought, I am really fit to be only Swami. What dumb question. Um, Swami Ji, why are you asking this question? I said, I just, you asked me to ask questions. So I am asking, what is the name of the organization? Oh, don't tell. No, no. The name of the organization is Space Research Center. I said, very good. If there is a Potato Research Center. Will you take the eggplant to do research? You will take only potato. Then the potato you have to define. Potato is not a fruit. Potato is not a branch. Potato is not a leaf. Potato is not a flower. Potato is a tuber. And then you conduct research. On potato. What you want to tell Swamiji, I say in the same manner, if you are conducting research on space, please define space. That which is outside as well as inside. <laughs> how simple it is. What, this is how. I enjoy my life. Then start playing. What it is like being space, supports everything, rejects nothing, doesn't get influenced by anything. No, live that life. Wherever you are, whatever you are, do your job perfectly well. Do your job like the space does its job. 
बट डजेंट गेट इन्फ्लुएंस मीनिंग वर्ड वेदर सक्सेस और फेल्यूअर हाउ डज इट मैटर टाइम पास हो गया ओवर दिस इज स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस बिकमिंग एक्सट्रीमली सीरियस इज नो देन वॉट विल हैपन पीब आनंद रसम स्वादु यू विल बी एज कंफर्टेबल एंड हैप्पी एज द स्पेस इज in a small room if a dead animal is there a rat a rotting there will be smell in the whole room but in the total space let the whole world rot nothing happened in the same manner when we are leading our life like a cocoon there will be a stink of selfishness when when you break the barriers of individuality and merge with the totality then there will not be a stink of selfishness but there will be glow of selfishness the truth will be discovered he my friends that is piba ananda rasam such a person who is happy he alone can distribute happiness adnyano chishta karasya chalanam jnanavarina vidnyanasyat malingasya hasta prakshalanam smaret now after we have given food to god now we have to give the water to wash the wash the hands so what is that adnyana uchishta karasya uchishta means what suppose i have taken something and leave it there it is called uchishta i don't know what you call in tamil what is the left over is called left over is left see in hindi it is called as jhuta jhuta means left over for example be attentive take a spoon and in that some sweet is there ice cream and you put that spoon in your mouth and take the ice cream and remove the spoon what we say the spoon has become jhuta jhuta means anything that touches your tongue is jhuta is it not how do we talk with the tongue so whatever we talk is jhuta so whether you talk about god is a bluff whether you talk about the world is a bluff therefore what is our satsang is a bluff session hey friends adnyana uchishta karasya because of this wrong notions incomplete knowledge we have to wash our hands how chalanam jnana varina by proper understanding that which is the result of incomplete knowledge can be rectified by removing the incompleteness in the knowledge then only the total knowledge happens now see what is the difference i am body is incomplete knowledge see now on what basis we say only this body i am that body i am not no both bodies have got the same story neither that body i have created nor this body i have created neither that body listens to me nor this body listens to me you must have seen many times in meetings it happens all the people are seriously discussing how to cheat the government and then in that discussion one of them says excuse me excuse me and he is going to get a sneezing so everybody is standing there with a purna kumbha and after few seconds it has not come at the rate what is under our control but this body i am that body i am not see friends therefore this is chalanam jnana varina so what is to be done this is a very simple technique friends let us not categorize evaluate comment on anybody on any theme 
we have no business to label somebody as good and bad. We have no business to talk about ourselves. No business. That is Adnana Varna Uchishta Karasya Kshalanam. Then Vishuddhasya Atmalingasya Hasta Prakshalanam Smaret. Then this is what is called as the pure self that we are is called as washing our hands. Meaning what? Come to discover that neither the body <coughs> nor the soul I am. One example I had given earlier also. I don't know if I gave here. One of my very good friend, a police officer in Delhi. I know him for last almost 15 years or 20 years. Till date, I do not know anything about him. Except his name, because that is in my phone. And he has never told me where from he is, whether married or unmarried, whether children or not children, nothing. Nor I have asked. But he is deeply involved in spiritual life, particularly Vedanta. He found out somewhere that Panchadeshi book, five volumes, and he studied it, a rare police person. One day he came and said, uh, Swamiji, I have got a um, very great engagement this time, I cannot come for the satsang. So, for the next year, one year, you give me some homework. I will work on it for the whole year and give you the reply next year. I said, okay. Are you ready? He said, yes. I said, I will ask you some questions. Reply. Reply properly. Okay. I said, switch off the light. He switched off. I said, now what are you seeing? He said, nothing, darkness. I said, you are just talking. Reply properly. Answer properly. Huh? This is better. Don't reply. Answer properly. What are you seeing? Nothing, Swamiji, only darkness. First mistake. Eyes cannot see darkness. Yes, Swamiji, mistake. Then I said, switch on the light. Now what do you see? I am seeing all the contents of your room. I am seeing you, your laptop, your shoes, the water bottle, the AC, and everything I am seeing. I said, go on telling. He said, that's all, what more? I said, I am seeing something more. Now what are you seeing, Swamiji? I said, I am seeing the light. Without light, can you see anything? Yes. It's a second mistake. Yeah, I give you. Then I said, continue. I still see something more. Can you see that? Now, the, now it is the final. Nothing. <laughs> I said, I am still seeing something more. What is that? I am seeing electricity. Without electricity, can there be light? Without light, can you see the object? Swamiji, I think I am defeated. I say, you are not fully defeated. One more question. <laughs> I am seeing something more than electricity. He said, now I am completely gone. I said, unless I am there, can anything be seen? So be very attentive. We are lost in objects Therefore, we don't see the light. We are lost in the light. Therefore, we don't see the electricity. We are lost in the electricity. Therefore, we don't recognize our presence. Whether electricity is there or not, does it make any difference to us? This is the GPS. Start from where you are to what you are. You know, our Pandarpur, Pithal Bhagwan, his Chandanam is like the destination of your GPS. Next time you see the picture, it's a round and then small little bit. You can see in your GPS, that is the destination point. That is our destination. Come back to yourself. 
इट इज फॉर दिस पर्पज विशुद्ध से आत्मलिंग से हस्त प्रक्षालन स्मरे देर फॉर वी आर नॉट सीनर वी आर नॉट बॉडी वी आर नॉट सोन वी आर डिवाइन रेकग्नाइज यूर ओन डिविनिटी माई फ्रेंड्स यू डोंट हैव टू बिकम डिवाइन इवन इफ यू डू नॉट वॉन्ट आई एम वेरी सॉरी यू आर डिवाइन सी फ्रेंड्स इट्स सो सिंपल एंड बिकॉज यू आर ऑलरेडी डिवाइन यू डोंट हैव टू बिकम डिवाइन then what is happening it is covered so remove the covering scientific discovery all the laws of nature are already existing they are covered by the ignorance so what the scientists do they only remove the covering the laws of nature are already revealed they are not created and therefore because they are not created it is not a result of action actions only can create knowledge doesn't create what is the um, color of the backdrop blue now this blue word that you said is it creating the color whatever is already there that alone is revealed therefore knowledge does not create karma action only creates knowledge only reveals what is see friends and this knowledge is not the knowledge of something it is knowledge by itself where we are lost knowledge of objects liking and disliking disliking of the objects wanting or not wanting the objects it is here we are lord remove this covering one by one covering of the worldly objects covering of the sense organs covering of the mind's likes and dislikes covering of the experiencer remove that what remains is the truth therefore it is self discovery the truth has to be recognized as our essential nature ragaadi guna shunyasya shivasya paramatmanah saraga vishaya bhyasa tyagatam urdh charvanam aha how beautiful you know in any puja unless the tamulam is samarpayami unless tamul is given puja is not complete See? i enjoy eating tambulam panam but there are always people around your well wishers in one place they told me how did uh, you don't mind but uh, i like to tell you something i say you tell who cares tell mahatmas don't eat tambul how come you are eating tambul i said you are perfectly right but you label me as a mahatma and then you want me to behave according to your definition i am not a mahatma i am a chota atma mm -hmm. don't become extraordinary remain ordinary you have learned higher spiritual life see and this is what i said here ragaadi guna shunyasya shivasya paramatmanah the self that we are the shiva that we are the paramatma that we are ragaadi guna shunyasya राग द्वेष काम क्रोध लोभ मोह मद आचार्य ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर टोटली एबसेंट लाइक द गोल्ड ही इज नॉट बिकमिंग होली वेन कास्टेड इन टू राम एंड डजन बिकम अनहोली वेन मेड इन टू ए रावण सी फ्रेंड्स when our vision sees the vigraha of bhagwan sri krishna it doesn't become holy and when he sees a filthy uh, thing lying somewhere it doesn't become unholy because the rule is the illuminator is not influenced by what is illumined are we not illuminating all the experiences of our life 
recognize my friends this and to recognize this our old habits we have to change old habit is dekho suno bolte raho see hear and go on commenting therefore ask a question to yourself who asked you see this maha mantra who asked you i was given this mantra in badrinath by a great saint she is no more now not today it was given to me maybe 30 40 or 40 years even before i was very young that day i finished my morning darshan of bhagwan uh, narayana and uh, came down to this amma she also used to come there and i said mama um i have decided i am not going to give any more lectures so she started laughing i said why are you laughing is it a joke she said can there be a better joke than this thing i said what is the joke she said joke is who asked you did narayana ask you whether you want to give lectures or not no he didn't ask me did i ask you whether you want to give lectures or not no you didn't ask me then who asked you whose question you are answering many a times we talk uncalled for friends and for that the antidote is they go so no see here no comment relax the more this is recognized because in us the shiva the divinity that ragaadi guna shunya se neither liking nor disliking friends liking and disliking are illusions if you are holding on to the truth or vision has no liking disliking for any color and form our ears have no liking disliking for any sound our mind has no liking disliking for any thought we have no liking disliking for waking dream deep sleep and samadhi all of them come equally easily and this part equally easily we are ever the same hold on to this see friends and this what we are discussing here it is not for everybody it is for whom those who are not following satsang or going to the temple or anywhere to get something then you are in a wrong place na kuch pana na kuch khona in satsang you don't get anything you lose everything like in the deep sleep what do we get on the contrary we lose everything and for losing everything we go to sleep but that loss is also temporary again the same burden begins why not sleep in such a manner that there is no more burden and living in sleep is god realization oh thank you very good one now i'll keep on sleeping bhagwan krishna yani sha sarva bhutanam tasyam jagrati sayami yasyam jagrati bhutani sa nisha pashyato mune the wise man awakened to his essential nature is sleeping to the relative world and the ignorant people are awakened to the relative world and they are sleeping to the divine nature that they have. therefore ragaadi guna shunya se shivasya parmatmana saraag vishaya abhyasa tyagaha therefore whatever whatever is attracting your mind very intensely chew it and throw it away that is tambulam now to understand this principle i give an example one of my friend a military officer retired he must be about 85 or 90 like that he met me in delhi came to the airport day time and said swami ji good news i said are you getting married again or what he said no swami ji then what is the good news in the old age it is only good news he said no 
I have given up smoking. I said, what is great about it? I never smoke. No, no, then what is great if you have not smoke? You smoke for, do you know how much I smoke? I said, I don't know. I smoke for more than 60 years. When I was hardly 17, 18, since then I started smoking. Now I am so much old. Only smoking every day, two, three, four packets. I have given up smoking. I said, oh, great. I said, you know, I utilize every event as my spiritual practice by learning from that. Now here, what you have to learn? I said, I have to learn one thing. Now tell me. You answer, don't argue. Please. You have been smoking for so many years. Whatever happiness you had, suppose it is X1 unit. Yes. And now you have given up smoking. You yourself said you are very happy. So this happiness of giving away smoking for good, what is that happiness in comparison to X1? He says, Swamiji, X1 multiplied by millions. I said, you are my guru, you have taught me something. He says, Swamiji, why are you pulling my leg? I said, no, really, you have told me the happiness of possession and the happiness of renunciation, they are not even comparable. And this is exactly what we do. When we go to sleep, what do we do? Renounce everything. And therefore, in sleep, we are extremely happy. And that is why we snore. Try to snore when you are awake. And when you are snoring happily, you are not in a hurry, isn't it? Have you anybody seen a heart snoring in a hurry? Kar, 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 kar. No, 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 no. It goes to the Saptaswara, Sare Gama Padanisa. And those who are awakened, they become disturbed. They wake you up. Hey, don't snore. You wake up. No, I am not snoring. And they grrr, it's that. that is the real Ananda. Therefore, Maharaj. Therefore, Saraga Vishaya, Vishaya, Vishaya Bhyasa Tyagaha. Learn this. Do these experiments. These experiments I have been doing in my life, I tell you. Many years before, I did one experiment. For two years or so, I did not eat rice and chapati. Only boiled potatoes and boiled vegetables. So first few days, it was very difficult. I said, no, this experiment, experiment you have to do. And after a few days, it became natural. So, we have this wrong notion. Without this, I cannot survive. It is wrong. Learn this. Another example. I don't eat sweets. So, when I went to South Africa, my host, the moment I went to the kitchen and started the kettle, water heated, I said, where are the tea leaves? Prepared my tea. And I added three teaspoonful of sugar. And I was sitting. So my host, he said, Swamiji, I'll tell you something. What? You will not get angry. I said, even if I get angry, why you care? Tell me what you have to tell. You don't take sweets. Yes. How many times tea you take in a day? I said, six times. Every time, three teaspoon full sugar. How much sugar you are eating? And you tell, I don't eat sweets. I said, yes, mama, what you are telling is true. Then she gave me this technique. Swamiji, stop taking sugar in tea and eat sweet once in a while. I said, okay, I will do it right now. No, 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 you do it slowly. I said, nothing happens slowly. Either this way or that way. And from that moment, I stopped taking sugar in the tea. First three days, the tongue was wagging. I said, no means no. And now if in my black tea, if somebody adds sugar, it becomes troublesome. 
So we have to learn by doing these experiments on ourselves. So we are unnecessarily becoming victims of our own likes and dislikes. Get out of it. This is what is it? Saraga Vishaya Vyasa Tyaga. Don't be enslaved by things and beings, time and space. Be at home everywhere. You know what happens as a result? We remain 100% integrated being. Remaining 100% integrated being is allowing the God to express through us. God is not disintegrated. That is love. That is the realization. When we are able to remain 100%. Take example to understand this. There was a child, a girl, and uh, maybe about 10 years or so, and her mother was too much modern. All the time reading Eves Weekly, Cows Weekly, Buffalo Weekly, Sheep Weekly, all Weekly. And then the girl came. Mommy, Mommy, I have got a question. Ita, don't you see? Mommy is studying something. After two minutes, I guess, Mommy, I want to ask you something. I am not now, after my studies are over. Again after, no, mommy, stop that. You talk to me. And then she put her hands around the face of her mother. Mommy, look at me and tell, is there life? Where do you go and read all these rubbish things? Is there life after death? There is no life after death. No, mommy, you are not listening to me. Then, is there life after marriage? So what was she asking? Give full attention. In full attention, you are 100% integrated. And you can be 100% integrated if you are not scattered in the past memories and future worries and the present excitement. Try this. That is what is called as Saraga Vishaya Bhyasa Tyagaha Tambula Charvanam. How many of you have gone to Varanasi? Few of you must have gone. You know, there was one um, person, a Bengali couple, who came with me. Swamiji, we want to come with you. I said, come. That time, Varanasi was not like now. It was the old city type of thing. So you have to go through small lanes. Maybe lanes, maybe hardly uh, six feet or so. Both side open gutters. And in between, the road will be loose uh, sl stone slabs. And on that, the bulls will be going. Rikshawala will be going. And people, children will be playing cricket. In that beautiful thing, we are going through. So this person, so how many, I said, no questions. After we take darshan, then question. We had darshan of Lord Shiva. Then uh, uh, Annapurna Mata. Then we said, I said, now ask, what is your problem? Swamiji, I am surprised. How come here people are so calm and quiet? I have seen one bicycle fellow came and dashed the other bicycle. Both of them failed. They got up, did not fight and went away. How can this happen? I said, only because here everybody is having tambulam in his mouth. That Tambula Ananda is far superior than fighting with others. And therefore, one husband and wife were going by car. And as a wife, she was non-stop cock, 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 cock going on. She stopped, went to a pan shop, bought a thick, big samosa type pan with everything in that. And honey darling, for you. Oh, you take care of me so much. Okay, thank you very much. And she ate. But then she has to ask, what about you? You are not eating? He said, I can keep quiet without pan. <laughs> hey friends, tambulam charvanam. 
it is a brahmananda see friends because that pan joy is shared of that will keep on fighting to fuel who more bhagwan also likes that taraga vishaya abhyasa tyaga tambula charvanam continue further अज्ञान ध्वांत विध्वंस प्रचंड मति भास्कर आत्मनो ब्रह्मता ज्ञान निराजन महान इह महात्म हाउ ब्यूटिफुल इट इज सी अज्ञान ध्वांत विध्वंस प्रचंड मति भास्कर हाउ ब्यूटिफुल दिस वर्ड्स आर दैट विच इज द ट्रिमेंडस लाइट विच इज डिस्ट्रॉइंग ऑल द रॉन्ग नोशन इन आवर लाइफ भास्कर भास्कर इज सन सी the bright light of the sun of the self which has destroyed all the wrong notions about ourselves that i am a mother father brother sister husband wife gone i am man woman gone i am rich poor gone i am successful unsuccessful gone and now we come to only the unqualified non specific average presence All the wrong notions are removed. Adhyana dhwanta, destroyer of the wrong notions, vidham sab prachanda mati bhaskaram. That complete understanding in the light of wisdom, atmana ha brahmata adhyanam, and then we come to discover our divine nature. That we are no more either the body or the soul. but we are supporting both of them without getting influenced by any one of them See? this jiva business remove from your head patan this your um, sankhya shastra talks about one jiva per head patanjali yoga shastra is based on the philosophy of sankhya shastra therefore they talk about one soul per body and this is how they can maintain this world but the truth is different see friends this we have to distinctly clearly here now to understand this i'll give an example see in the petrol there is no horse power do we go to the gas station and say uh, 20 horse power petrol de dena no there is no horse power in the petrol there is no horse power in the steel out of which the machine is made then when the unholy wedlock between the petrol and the engine happens then in a particular condition with a spark horse power is created who is pulling the car neither the petrol nor the engine but the horse power now you have switch on horse power 1 hp 1 switch off where the horse power has gone find out then second time second time hp 2 again find out where that has gone so like horse power is required for moving the vehicle in the same manner in parmatma there is no samsar there is no jiva in prakriti there is no samsar no jiva when parmatma the petrol and prakriti the engine when they come together then the donkey power which comes that is called as the jiva now see these are the things which you have to discover within one of my friend in bombay he <clears throat> took me to his house for food and all that and nothing is free free in this world so after the food was over i was going so i mean our grandmother is ill you please bless her so naturally i can't be namak haram i have to go so she was in coma so what can i do to that comatose the nurse was there so i was talking to her i said hey how are you are they paying you properly yes 
Now pray to the Lord till you get a next assignment. Later continue. And then they came to see how I am blessing. Immediately drama started. I took her dilapidated hand in my hand, put my hand on that. I kissed my hand. Who will keep that dead hand? And then lip movements. Who can challenge what I am doing? Over. Then on the third day he came for the satsang. After, like many people ask me the same question. Swamiji, do you recognize me? Are, I have forgotten God. Will we remain a human being? So I said, no, I don't recognize you. How come that day you came to our house three days before? I said, it has gone out. Nothing is inside me now. I don't keep anything. No, that day you came and our grandmother was ill and you blessed her. Then my heart started coming out and going in. What happened because of my blessings? If she survived, he has come to kill me. If she dies, people die because of my blessings. I was in a fix. Then he said, we could not see her torture, suffering, but by your blessings and God's grace, she was revealed of those problems. I said, look here. You can cheat anybody. Doesn't matter. Don't cheat yourself. How come? I said, do you know, a person who is in coma, he never suffers. The one who has to pay the bill, he suffers. How many more days now? It is just, you know, dead investment. See, friends, because there, there is no jiva. There is only life without anybody. Exactly the same state is when we are in deep sleep. See, friends, if we work on our own experiences, slowly, steadily, you will discover we are the source of highest wisdom. Don't have to go to book to book. And this technique is revealed in satsanga. Therefore, highest spiritual practice is satsangatve nissangatvam nissangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nishchalatatvam nishchalatatve jivan mukti. Nothing to gain, nothing to lose. So, atmanaha brahmada jnanam nirajanam iham atmanaha. This is called showing the light to the God, the Niranjana. Come to know Atmanaha Brahmata Jnanam. Am Brahmas. And how do we know whether Am Brahmas we are not? Let's take another example. Before we came to this place, going through the traffic, traffic jam, somewhere something happened, we are worried, I don't know why this has to happen, I have to reach there on time, I am getting late, oh, 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 going on. But after we reach here, then go to sleep, <sighs> attend satsang. You see friends, because you are reached. So when you have reached, you have no questions. You have no achievement. You have no failure. You just are. That is Atmanaha Brahmata Jnanam Niranjanam Iham Atmanaha. That is called as showing the Niranjani to the God. Vidhi Vividha Brahma Sandrishti Malika Bhi Alankritam Purna Nandatma Drishti Purna Nandatma Tadrishtim Pushpanjalim Anusmaret. Then we do the Pushpanjali. We take the flowers or the rice in our hand and then the mantras are chanting. And after the mantra is chanting, Om Raja Di Raja Ya Prasaya Sayane Namo Vayam Vai Shravanaya Kurmahe Same Kaman Kama Kama Yamayam Kame Shvaro Vai Shravano Dadatu Kuviraya Vai Shravanaya Maharaja Yama Pushpanjali Samar Payami We do it outside. Here, Vividha Brahma Sandrishti Malika Bhi Alankritam. Vividha Brahma Sandrishti. 
in and every experience try to find out the divine presence how it is possible like a person who is creative wherever he goes he discovers something in that okay. there was a friend of mine somewhere in uh, maharashtra and um, could you believe what he started a simple thing he said he was you know highly qualified he said i am not interested in job i had to do something different so he saw moving in the market here and there that uh, the uh, desi village chicken are more preferred in the market than the farm room chicken so he thought why not explore this field know where there are local chicken farms and then what he has to do no data available nothing available so he collected few of them just in a open yard and kept one boy go and collect the leftover from the hotels bring it and throw it on the floor in the open ground and he started without any much expenditure and he the interview i heard afterwards he said without much investment i am so much at peace because now i have discovered the techniques see discover something new let us not lead a mechanical life if we do not have challenges in our life we are leading a useless life challenges are required then only the best will come out of us wherever there is too much of security laziness comes out when there are challenges then the best comes out one of my friend in uh, seattle worked there in that uh, microsoft not for a day or two but more than 20 30 year one day he resigned he came i said now what is your problem he said sanjay is bored of the same thing every day i wanted some challenges then what then he decided to start the turn key projects um advising and right from the topic preparing the uh, report getting the funds getting the land acquired and getting the construction made getting the staff employed everything and you start the key and it starts functioning it will take for him two years or two and a half year for one project and then whatever he has to get he gets i said what did you get in this thing amedi i like challenges in life if you are like challenges in life you are living otherwise uh, how are you oh, i'm still alive then die see friends challenges are essential to bring best out of us if you want to sharpen your knife will you take a butter slab and try to sharpen if you want to sharpen your knife take a hard stone grinding stone but there we must know the art of application of the knife to the stone then only it will be sharpened in the same manner we all have infinite potentiality bring it out and it is for this purpose it is said vividha brahma sandrushti malika bhi alankritam think from different angles not every day the same mechanically doing this is what happens with many people they are doing the japa and they are mechanically doing see the other day one lady asked me swami ji i am doing the japa but i am not getting interested and you know, what i should do now i am afraid should i stop or not and if i stop my guru will become angry with me now what should i do i said you ask your guru 
I am afraid of him. He scolds me always. See, friends. So I wrote her. Look here. If you are leading a life of fear, you are not walking spiritual path. Bhagavad Gita, 16th chapter, first word. Abhayam Sattva Samshuddhi. The spiritual life begins when you start with fearlessness. Not with the fear. See, friends. So, vivida brahma sandrishti malika vi alankrutam purna nandatmata drishtim pushpanjalim anusmaren. So, purna nandatma drishtim. Meaning what? Be happy under all conditions. Sometimes we succeed, sometimes we fail. This is what life is. Slowly, slowly discover the divine experience in and through every experience. Waking comes and goes, we have not come and gone. Dream comes and goes, we have not come and gone. Deep sleep comes and goes, we have not come and gone. We are the same. Focus attention on this common unchanging platform that is the offering flowers to the God that we are. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om